market here. The drive through is officially started and now we're heading to uh, Future Fins to get some fins. We're gonna go to an electric bike company and pick up some bikes and then we're going straight to Dane Reynolds place, pick him up. Then we're gonna surf and then we're heading straight up to the surf ranch. We're gonna park out front the gates and wait for them to open. Bringing the drive through back was a dream of Benji and I. You know, we wanted to bring back what we've been missing in surfing, which is the laughter, you know, the happiness, having fun and share with the new generation. And I think that was the main thing with the USA was let's go and hit as many places as we can in the US, California coast, Texas, let's hit the East Coast, but let's bring three or four of the young generation kids that might not even remember, but they've heard rumors of this drive through that happened 15 years ago. You know, we did a lot of research on the surfers for this one. Um, Donnie had nothing to do with that. He's absolutely horrible at picking people and he had nothing to do with it. It was all me. And Parker Coffin was my first pick. I was like, I love goofy footers. I like short guys that are stocky and they're from Santa Barbara. He had cool hair. I like people that are smaller than me because if they talk back, you know, bam, you know, you get that done. I've known Benji for a super long time. He actually took me on my first ever magazine trip to Mexico when I was 14. He had a piece of paper that uh, stated him as my legal guardian. So for me to kind of do that at that age and then be here and get the call up from him and be able to do drive through it's just, it's so special. The second one was Eric Geiselman because he's not only one of the easiest going people in the world, but he's plays guitar in the yards that he stays at, just walks in circles looking at the stars, and you need the casual tripper on the drive through You need that guy, like the Aussie Wright, the, we always have the casual tripper guy that's easy going and rips, and that was Geiselman, so he was my second pick. My name is Eric Geiselman, and I'm born and raised from New Smyrna Beach, Florida. First time on the drive through unbelievable. I brought my son on this trip, Hendrix Frankenrider. He was here. He, um, you know, he's, he's just one I've been wanting to bring on a trip for a long time. He's, he's 18 now, and he's been watching these drive throughs for the last 15 years. And he's like, Dad, what are they like? And if you don't ever do one, it's kind of crazy, like the behind the scenes, what we do every day. So I was like, I, I gotta get him to experience this. I'm Hendrix Frankenrider. I'm from the North Shore of Kauai. For me, it's like 14 days of learning. What's up? <laughs> what is that? That's not a thing. I don't know why. Every drive through kind of has the icon, which would be like the Slater on this one. But then you always have the Ringer, which would be the WSL, WCT, whatever you want to call it guy that gives all the clips and Griffin is just a clip master and not only that but he's such a cuddler and he's such a little nugget and I, I fell in love with him on this trip I fell in love with all of them I know that sounds weird but I'll be canceled for that but I definitely like the way they look in wetsuits and they're cute kids and they party really well it's so cool because like I felt like we were all just like connected through the drive-through and through what we were wearing, going through the airport, being on stage. It was cool to like be a part of that with these guys. Where are we going? First stop, drive through, road trip 101. Got lots of items on this bus. Probably gonna be put to good use throughout the trip and some lots of laughs. First day they pulled up at the house, I was super excited. I had all my stuff on the curb ready to go and then they pulled up and I just started throwing stuff over my balcony. How many girls you got hidden up there, you guys, for real? They're all tied up with their Halloween costumes. It's like bleeding, but it's fake. Holy shit. I want to come here on a weekend. Is the cake gone? You guys already finished it? Yeah, a day late, a dollar short. Here we are, Griffin's house. The only problem is, what board is he going to ride? Look at this guy. What board is he going to bring?
Donovan and Benji are the best guys ever. Uh, they're hilarious. I never knew that about them. I only heard the stories and, and I got the experience firsthand, so it was amazing. How about, hey, how, can we just take Xander with us? Sure. Mick can't go because he's got like a rib curl thing, but Xander, what are you up to? You want to go to drive through? Yeah. You want to go on drive through? Drive -through? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I grew up watching drive throughs my whole childhood. I think the first one came out when I was eight years old or something. For me and my friend group, that was all we ever dreamt about, was just piling in a van and traveling and laughing and having a good time, surfing. That's why I wanted to become a pro surfer, was to have fun with my friends, and this pretty much is the epitome of having fun with your friends. Day nine, check these blokes out, they're going off. I cannot believe I haven't brushed my teeth. <laughs> I always tell people the drive throughs are sort of like a, um, you know, the making of a surf movie. You know, you take six of the best surfers in the world and just hit the road and go try to find the best waves you can. And it's sort of like Anthony Bourdain on a surfboard, if, if he surfed, kind of, without all the sort of restaurant sort of uh, reviews, but <laughs> everything else. Isn't that crazy? You want to know what it's the tour up. was like back in the 40s when I did it? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking CD cases. The, if you were I a baller, that baller too. you would have the, the double, one, the four. Ooh. And you would always <laughs> leave it on the plane because you'd be all fucking <laughs> with your earphones and shit like this. In the big old Bible, like, ooh, yeah. like, shing, shing, like that. You would lose a CD case and you'd watch your friend die. He, it, slow death. Like, I left it on the bus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God. And then someone would find it and be like, he listens to Leonard Skinner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> is that for us? It is. No, it isn't. No. Oh my god. Oh, there's chopper. Oh, yeah, you fucking. It what? really is. No. What the heck? We look suspicious. Actually, we're getting a ticket. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Go, Hendrix. Talk to him. No, we're not, we're not quite what? Know what Send the This is the sickest opening clip ever. Let's all fucking go out of there. Uh, maybe, maybe stay back. Stay back for a second. Yeah. It looks tense. Benji's running. Where's this guy going? Benji's running. Benji's running. Yes, are we going to put the fucking yeah. Yeah. Why is that Look good it. running? Tell there. him what we're doing. What's up we're with the tracks here? Uh, we're filming the drive through We're trying to drive through. Oh, the drive-thru. Yeah. yeah. The TV show, the drive-thru. Exactly. The old surf show. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, oh, sir. that's all you had to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I know that. I'm, I'm tough this man. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> that day for me was incredible because I've never really hung out with Parker, uh, Eric, never hung out with Griffin really. So that day was like, let's see how these guys, how we can all kind of get together, go to all these different spots, maybe get a surf in at the end of the day and really see what these guys are all made of. We're checking out the new uh, future fin. This one's called Free Willy. And uh, if you put this on, you go a lot quicker than Griff's gonna go on the little teeny finny. Your, your finny is teeny. Look at how good it looks on him. What's the theory with this little nub? Everything with the foil thickness and the concave is all about grip and lift and drive. And then flipping the tip just gives you that release back. MG! <laughs> this is if you're way over 200 pounds, you ride vectors so you can not slide out and look like a jerk. You have a little concave, you can't really see it. All right, we'd like a few words about uh, future fins and uh, what, what the future holds. Screw it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. Just screw it. Go surfing. I need an avocado. <laughs> Ruby, thank you for everything. Yeah, it's always appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I'll let you know how that's been. The first day was let's pick up all these characters, get them in the RV, do a quick stop by all these amazing sponsors of the drive-thru and pick up some gear, and then get up to Ventura and get Dane in the RV. We had no idea if Dane was actually going to go with us or just surf once with us. All right. Oh. <laughs> 
Exactly what's gonna happen, you guys. We're gonna have a drive-through moment. It's gonna look like shit. No one's out, and then it's gonna push and it's gonna get a little nugget. I love that. Oh, well, there's a little chill out. Waves down there. Yeah. Fucking going off down there. Turn it's the going off. That last one. How fun would that be right there? Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, 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 God. So basically, Dane Reynolds is my spirit animal. Um, he eats carbs like me. His face is, keeps growing like mine. And I just like the way he surfs. Uh, he surfs like me, but way better. And I try to get him for like six months. And like voicemail, text that would be like, who is this? And then the next text would say, go away. All this, all this stuff. But eventually, Jesus was there for me. And he went, Dane, call Benji right now. And it happened to be the week before this thing went down. Every single surfer has been influenced by Dane over the years. And I think the reason why Dane ended up jumping on the trip was really because of Benji. And just the whole goal of the drive through is to just make it as real as possible. And Dane is a realist, man. He wants, you know, he just loves surfing for surfing. And I think drive through really kind of portrays and encompasses why we all want to surf. Benji is just probably the funniest person I've ever met. He just uh, finds something ironic in every situation and then he'll sprinkle in sex jokes with poop jokes and just find something that's just, it's constant. It's like, like stand-up comedy but better because it's, it's all off the cup. <laughs> it was the coolest thing ever. Like I, I always thought 10 years ago, I'm like, Dane is the guy. He's our drive-through spirit animal. And the fact that he really ended up being makes me feel really cocky because I knew it was gonna work. The tide's gonna push and there's gonna be this little weird peak that just breaks and people are gonna be splitting peaks on weird boards and we're all high-fiving and hugging at the very end. And if it doesn't happen, you guys can kick me up. And that'd be fun because I'll just walk, to, walk home from here. 2,000 miles. <laughs> what we can do, we get the fucking electric bites with the little foamy oh. boards with no, no fins and I'll zip you guys down the fucking... That, that would be fun. fun. Yes! Mental, Skimboard set. Yeah, you know, the first surf, when I looked at it, I was like, I think it has like skimboarding potential. And Benji's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, dude, you know those bikes we just picked up? Go grab a rope and we'll grab those soft tops, the Pablos forever, it's on. <laughs> Of course Donnie comes up with the idea and I hate all his ideas because they always work and they're cooler than mine. And it was so freaking fun. some groms and we're like hey you guys should try this electric bikes surf thing and they went in there and they crushed it because me and Donnie weigh more than them I don't know why but we do and uh, they crushed it <laughs> oh god oh god hold on hold on little buddy Exactly. Look at this, actually, that's a guy kind of a fun little wave. That was a super fun little wave. Oh, thing was... <laughs> you could go right that way. I'm going to go surf this because I haven't surfed in so long. I'm going surfing for sure. Hey, Tom. What's up, boy? Hey. Uh, 
What's up, Daddy? Daddy? What's, What's up? up? Oh my nice god. You. You're one of the only people that could actually rip those waves. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Wow. We pulled up and it was like really small little waves, but the sun was out and there's no one else in the water and we we're pretty excited just to just go out and have a good time with our friends. And that was kind of like the first session of the whole trip. And right then we knew it was going to be the best trip ever. First you go this way, then you go this way, then you go that way, then you go this way, and then you go circles. That's pretty much how you do it. California dream. Sunshine, perfect waves. What more? What more do you want? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going the six-five twin, and then uh, the contest style epoxy. <laughs> <laughs> So we ended up surfing into the evening and um, we we're just like, man, this is going to be so fun. It was, you know, it was day one. We still didn't know what to expect, but it was all just sinking in. It's like, oh my God, this is crazy, you know? So it, it was really cool. Everybody on, on the trip is is like constantly getting made fun of and is cool with it, brushes it off. It's just funny. It's so funny to uh, make fun of your friends. And Donovan and Benji are experts at it. <laughs> we're not like this. We're like getting pictures with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We got strings on here. Look at that airplane right over. Oh, oh, man. Man. You guys came off a wedding. Dude, Dude it was hey, so hey, fun.
trips. It was fun. It was a good way to warm up and see everybody just kind of get in the water, get wet, and get ready for what whatever was, was next. Surf for three hours on fun boards, small waves, but everyone was yelling and hooting, so it was a good time. But yeah, now we're just cruising, gonna go to the wave pool tomorrow. Dane's jumping in with us tonight. And then from there, I'm not too sure from there, but yeah, that's the deal. I don't know. <laughs> This episode of the drive through is brought to you by Future Fins. Are we almost in his house for real? Yeah. Hey, bud, what's he got? Hi. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be off. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cross country serving. I just want to try one grip of board. I got to try a wave on a grip of board. 